Over the course of this second season of the M1 Challenge, we've traveled to seven countries on four continents to bring you 130 bouts featuring over 150 fighters from around the world. Showcasing the next generation of stars in the sport of mixed martial arts, the M1 Challenge has presented an international MMA competition unrivaled in size and scope. We've witnessed absolutely brutal knockouts, devastating submissions, and some of the most intense fighting ever to occur in the history of the sport. Now, after our year-long journey, the original field of 16 teams has been reduced to just two, Team USA East and Team Russia Legion, who will compete for the competition's ultimate prize, the championship of the M1 Challenge. and how these two great sides have survived to reach the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals. Team USA East began their road to the finals this season in Borgas, Bulgaria. And in their M1 debut, the American side absolutely dominated, sweeping Team Bulgaria by a score of 5-0. Among the victors on the night for USA East was the Brazilian-born lightweight Hinato Migliasio, who showcased his outstanding BJJ with a submission of Yanko Yanev in the opening round. Now for the armbar, trying to straighten out the arm. Dying seconds of round number one. He tapped the tap! That is it! Also victorious for the American side that night in Borgas was former NFL running back Whisper Goodman, who recorded a stunning knockout of Bulgaria's head coach Jordan Radev in the final second of their middleweight bout. Oh, good right hand! Goodman trying to steal it at the end! Radev trying to hold on! The end could be near, and that's it! Just like that! Radev is out! And securing the sweep for the American side was heavyweight Lloyd Marshbanks, who submitted Emil Samoylov in round one. Now going back to the oh, oh, he got it. It. No action, then all action. There was no way out for Samoylov. Also victorious on the night for Team USA East was Chuck Grigsby, who gained a hard-fought decision victory versus Atenas John Bozov following the overtime round. A 5-0 win for Team USA East over Bulgaria in their M1 Challenge debut. USA East next fought at Historic Memorial Hall in Kansas City, Kansas, located in the American heartland. The night again opened with a first-round submission victory for Hinato Migliasio, as he defeated the highly talented Nico Puhaka. Lost it, went for it again. Now the other arm, beautiful transition. There's the tap! I thought I saw the tap and that's it, there was the tap. Playing claim is the best lightweight this season in the M1 Challenge is Hinato Migliasio. After then losing the next two fights, Rodney Wallace showcased his powerful strikes in a decision win over Marcus Vantanen, bringing USA East level at two victories apiece. Then in the final fight of the night, heavyweight Lloyd Marshbank submitted Tony Valtanen in the second round to capture the 51st win of his career and secure a victory for the American side. Tony Valtanen now trying to squeeze his way out. Well, that's tight. Very tight. We might see a tap here. And we do. There is a tap. And the victory by Lloyd Morris Banks. Fantastic submission win for the American. An impressive come from behind 3 2 win for Team USA East versus Finland, which moved them atop the Group C standings. USA East then traveled to Amsterdam, Holland, where they entered their final matchup of the regular season, needing to win just two of the night's five bouts versus Benelux to claim the Group C championship and a place in the semifinal round. The evening began with lightweight David Zitnik, a replacement for the injured Hanato Migliasio, losing to Danny Van Bergen of Benelux by first round TKO. Big knee on the point of the chin by Van Bergen on Zitnik. Oh, another good right hand. Beautiful job by Danny Van Bergen. Zicknick just not having any answer there. 
The American side, though, answered with a victory in the next bout as welterweight Shamar Bailey stopped Raymond Yarman in the second round. Referee has seen enough. That's it. That is it. I think that was an excellent stoppage, Sean. Nothing Raymond Yarman could do there. Then in the middleweight division, John Doyle used his outstanding ground game and aggressive style to gain a unanimous decision win over Richard Clue. In favor of your winner, John Doyle! That all-important second victory of the night clinched the Group C Championship for Team USA East and a place in the semifinals. Then in the semifinal round here in Rostov on Don, Russia, USA East dominated the other American entrant in the competition, Group B champions Team USA West, winning the opening four bouts en route to a 4-1 victory and a place in the finals. The clinching victory was recorded by the Brazilian-born middleweight Gerson Dos Santos, who TKO'd Joao Assis in the opening round. Uh, this might be stopped soon. I see some in real trouble. There's the stopping. That is it. Wow. A total of 14 individual fight wins over four rounds for Team USA East in their inaugural season as they advance to the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals.